Let us pray. Dear Everlasting Father, King of Glory, thank you for the grace to be alive and to witness the gift of a new day. Dear Lord, through our prayers and discourse today, let the eyes of every listener be open to see how to bring their desires to reality. And for those whose desires and expectations have been obstructed and delayed by forces they do not know or are aware of, Father, let there be a divine intervention from you that will lead to their freedom and instant manifestation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our God will give you the desires of your heart. Yes, permit me to start by telling you a little story about a young woman called Olivia who lived in Ohio. Once upon a time in a small town in Ohio, there lived a young girl named Olivia. She had big dreams and aspirations, and she believed that if she kept her desires in her heart, God would grant them to her. Olivia's journey was filled with ups and downs, but she never lost hope and continued to pray and work hard toward her dreams. Olivia had always been passionate about music. From a young age, she loved to sing and play the piano. Her dream was to become a famous singer and share her music with the world. However, as she grew older, she faced many challenges that seemed to stand in her way. One of the hurdles Olivia faced was self-doubt. She often wondered if her voice was good enough and if people would appreciate her talent. But she didn't let these doubts consume her. Instead, she turned to prayer and asked God for strength and guidance. Olivia also faced financial difficulties. Her family didn't have much money, and they struggled to afford music lessons or even a proper piano. But Olivia didn't let these obstacles deter her. She found solace in the local community center, where she would spend hours practicing on the old piano they had. As Olivia grew older, she faced more challenges. She auditioned for talent shows and competitions but was often rejected. It was disheartening, but Olivia refused to give up. She believed that God had a plan for her and that her hard work would eventually pay off. One day, Olivia received news of a singing competition that was being held in a nearby city. It was a chance for aspiring singers to showcase their talent and potentially get noticed by industry professionals. Olivia knew she had to seize this opportunity. With determination in her heart, Olivia began preparing for the competition. She practiced tirelessly, pouring her heart and soul into each song. She also continued to pray, asking God to bless her with the courage and strength she needed. The day of the competition arrived, and Olivia stood on the stage, surrounded by a sea of faces. As she began to sing, her voice soared through the auditorium, captivating everyone who listened. The audience was moved by her passion and talent. Weeks went by, and Olivia anxiously awaited the results of the competition. Finally, the day came when the winners were announced. Olivia's heart raced as the presenter called out her name. She had won the competition. News of Olivia's success spread quickly. She was offered a record deal and soon became a rising star in the music industry. Her dreams were finally coming true, and she knew that it was all because she had kept her desires in her heart, prayed, and worked hard, no matter the hurdles she faced. Olivia's story inspired many others, showing them that with faith, perseverance, and a heart full of desires, anything is possible. She reminded them that God listens to our prayers and grants the desires of our hearts when we believe and work towards them. Our heart's desires determine to a very large extent what happens to us, what we get, and what we do not get. Desire and thought are like magnets, they attract what we highly desire or focus on all the time. And this conforms with the divine instructions and laws, because the scriptures say in Proverbs chapter 23, verse 7. For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. All that you have or think you don't have yet is the result of your thinking and practicing every day. 
The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 24. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. The desire of the righteous. Our desires come from our thoughts, our passion, our interest, our obsessions, and our earnest expectations. And it is these thoughts that usually crystallize into our realities. As a result, if you know how to leverage and use your thoughts, they have the ability to draw to you all that you will ever need. God has empowered our thoughts to act and function that way, other things being equal. And that is why it is not good to have or entertain negative desires or thoughts, as they can inadvertently attract woes to us, but God forbid. Because every unchecked thought can mature into a physical reality. Sometimes, when our desires and thoughts are not becoming reality, as one would have expected, two things may be responsible. One of which is that the desire may not be in harmony with or in tandem with other divine laws and principles. That's because it may not be in alignment or in perfect combination with other spiritual laws and scriptural components that make thoughts and desires reality. The second is that there may be forces, seen or unseen, fighting or wedging war against the manifestation of your desires. Because the devil, as the scriptures, has aptly captured, is always on the lookout for something to kill, destroy, or steal. In John 10, verse 10, the Bible says, That, the thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy, I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. It is always the will of God and divine laws that our thoughts and words give birth to our physical realities. Therefore now, as we pray, every caged desire shall be loosed and released to become the thinker's or desire's reality this hour. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is making any noble thought, passion, pursuit, or desire elusive, I command it to be arrested now by the power of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. And let every child of God possess their rights and possessions in Christ, in accordance with Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17, which says, But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And elsewhere in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 15, it says, Indeed they shall surely assemble, but not because of me, whoever assembles against you shall fall for your sake. And in verse 17, it says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises against you in judgment. You shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Therefore, in the name of Jesus the Christ, I command whatever is delaying your manifestation to crumble and give way for your instant and spontaneous manifestation. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ of the Most High God. The siege of affliction, delays, misfortune, sicknesses and diseases are crumbled and stifled. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree freedom and liberty to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree everlasting freedom and liberty from slavery and servitude. By the power that resurrected Jesus from death. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I release every hanging desire and expectation of every listener under my voice to locate and settle down with them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree the manifestation and realization of the expectations of everyone, by the power of the name and blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, dearest Heavenly Father for answering because I know it's been done, for in Jesus' precious and glorious name I prayed. Amen. We are delighted to have you join us today. We would love to hear your experiences of how faith has made a positive impact in your life or in the lives of those around you. Feel free to share your stories in the comments section below, as they can truly uplift and inspire fellow believers. Additionally, 
If you find this video meaningful, we kindly ask you to consider sharing it with someone special. Your support is deeply appreciated.